It might be that we don't need a front-end developer when designing websites with Divi. Today, I'm talking about Divi Code AI. Divi Code AI is going to allow you to add even more code to your existing websites using AI. Let me show you how it works. So over here, we have a pre-made layout. So when we inspect this, we can see that this has three columns, which are right here. But what if I wanna use Flexbox? Is Divi Code AI able to do that? That's what I'm just about to find out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and duplicate this like that. And then I'm just gonna make sure that I have a single column. So I'm gonna go in here and delete these two like that and then save. So in this column here, we're going to add three images. So I'm gonna duplicate this three times. Right, so you can see I have these three. So when you take a look at this now, all we have is just one column and three images. So what we need to do now is to apply Flexbox to this. So I'm gonna come in here, go to Advanced, Custom CSS. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go in and click on this AI button, and now we have this new pop-up. So in here is where I'm going to add my prompt, and I'm gonna say Layout Images Using Flexbox, make sure it's horizontal direction. So I'm gonna click now on Generate Code, and let's see what happens. And there we go. Just like that, this now has uh, added my direction and it is horizontal. Now, what I want to add to this as well is I want to make sure there's some gaps in between. So I want to say add uh, 20 pixels gaps. Okay, let's see how that works. And sure enough, this is working. Now, you see, this is super exciting because I've just used the prompt to come up with this. So even if you don't know Flexbox, you can just go in and add your prompts. And before you know it, you are going to able to line up and align everything using Flexbox. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, say use this code. So these two on the top here are now different. The bottom one here is using Flexbox. And again, let me show you one more time. You can see here that this here has one column. What I also like about this update is we can download these snippets and add them onto Divi Cloud. So as you're designing your websites, you can just access these very, very easily using Divi Cloud. So anyway, let's do a few more examples and see how this works. I'm gonna go ahead now and save this. And since I now have Flexbox over here, I'm gonna go ahead and delete the top one. So I'm gonna go into this image module here and add a bit of code and see what we can do. So again, I'm gonna come over here to Advanced, Custom CSS. So what I wanna do here is I want to fade this image on hover. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna generate the code and let's see what happens. I'm gonna click on use this code and you can see there. So you can see here that it is working. This is amazing. So you know what? I wanna go back in and I wanna say improve with AI. So this time what I'm going to do is I want this to uh, expand or grow on hover. I wanna say generate. Okay, so let's uh, close out of here. So now when I hover on here, you can see that this is hovering and this is pretty much by just adding code. Now let's continue with this. I'm also going to uh, add a drop shadow. So the example I'm giving you now is, let's say you've added all your code, but you wanna go back in and add something else. So this time we're gonna go back in and we are going to improve with AI, but I wanna say, add drop shadow on hover. I'm gonna generate that. And you can see here, my code has been added. So when I hover here, in fact, let's say use this code. So when I hover, I, I know it's very subtle. We have a dark background, so we can't really see this, but there is definitely a drop shadow on hover here. All right, so now that we have this, what else can we do with uh, Divi Code AI? So if we come here, we have a few options. I'm gonna click here on AI. So you notice that here we have format, we also have improved compat compatibility. So when we come over here, you notice that this is going to generate code which is going to work across all browsers. So again, this is fantastic. Let me say use this code. And uh, again, you can see here it's still working, but there's a lot of uh, code that has been added here. And I'm gonna trust this AI that this code is going to work across all uh, browsers. All right, so now that I have this, there's a few more options here. We can make it better. So I'm gonna see how this code can be made better. So as you can see here, uh, this has been stripped down. I'm gonna say use this code. Of course, at this point, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just uh, trying things out, okay? So I'm gonna go back here and we also have um, format. 
And I also like the fact that we can convert color values to all these options. We have hex, RGB, RGBA, HSL, and so on. Now, this will be even more exciting if we can go in and try out even more examples. Now, the challenge that we have here is when you take a look here, when I switch to mobile device, these are all in a row, but ideally we want them stacked. So how can we change this? Can we do this with DV code AI? Let's find out. So I'm gonna come back here. So we're gonna go into our row settings, click on this gear icon, and we're gonna come again to the advanced tab, custom CSS, and I'm now going to say AI, and I'm going to say improve with AI. So this time I'm going to refine the result here. So I'm gonna say change flex direction to columns for mobile devices, and then click on regenerate. So now when I come to mobile devices, you notice that everything is all stacked up. So isn't this amazing that just using AI code, we are able to go in and customize this. Now, I'm only scratching the surface here. There's a lot that we can do. I've been playing around with this, but I just wanted to show you briefly what the change is in DV Code AI. So I'd highly recommend this. This is going to help us learn how to code and also help us become front-end developers for our existing websites or future websites that we are designing. I have a link to DV AI. If you purchase that using my affiliate link, I'll give you access to DV University. So go ahead, check it out. And like I said, I have future tutorials where I'm gonna go deep dive and show you what else we can do with DV Code AI. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.